Governor Martin Wambora's turbulent times began soon after coming to the defense of the county secretary, Margaret Kariuki, even after the assembly passed a motion to remove her from office over graft allegations. Embu County Assembly Deputy Speaker Ibrahim Swale tabled a motion to impeach the governor, while Nthawa MCA Ngari Makenge brought the motion to sack the deputy governor, Dorothy Nditi, both of them being accused of abuse of office. The governor and his deputy have been accused of floating the Public Procurement and Disposal Act 2005, the Public Finance Management Act 2012, the County Governments Act 2012, and the Constitution of Kenya. For the courage of this motion, like I said earlier, is uh, two thirds of the total membership of this assembly. Despite their spirited attempts to absolve themselves of any wrongdoing, their grounds are now shaky following the county assembly's vote to remove them from office. Out of 25 members present, 22 voted against Wambora with only three in his favor. No member voted against the removal of the deputy governor, Dorothy Nditi, as those in her support abstained from the vote. The vote went on despite Wambora obtaining a court order barring debate on his fate until he is heard. But the Speaker of the County Assembly ruled that the motion will continue after declaring that the order by the Kerugoya court lacked the official court seal. Wambora's fate now lies with the decision of the Senate. According to the provisions of Section 33 of the County Governments Act 2012, the Speaker of the County Assembly is now required to notify the Speaker of the Senate within the next two days, after which the Speaker of the Senate shall convene a meeting of the Senate to investigate the matter within seven days. The Senate will form an 11-member committee to assess the merits of the past impeachment motion and decide whether to uphold the decision of the county assembly or not. This law also gives the beleaguered governor a chance to be heard by the Senate committee before making any decision. The committee will then take a vote to determine whether to eject the governor or to save him, a decision that will then be tabled in the House for debate. The decision of the Senate determines the fate of the troubled governor. The governor will still perform his duties pending the decision of the Senate. The Embu County move is seen as a precedent setting, and there are expectations that it is likely to trigger copycat moves by county assemblies engaged in disagreements with other governors. So, Elsewhere, the Nairobi County Assembly has passed the County Wards Development Fund Bill, which seeks to set a development fund that will be managed at ward level. If signed into law, each of the 85 wards in Nairobi County will receive 16 million shillings a year, translating to 1.3 billion shillings. Members of the Nairobi County Assembly want Governor Evans Kidero to sign the bill expeditiously. Ken Dagor, Obadiah Citizen Live at 9.